Hi, this is Natalie Lucier, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a simple pop-up on your WordPress website using Pop-Up Ally Pro. So this is Pop-Up Ally Pro. You'll find the link below the video if you don't yet have the plugin. And again, this is a WordPress plugin to have a beautiful, easy to use pop-up installed on your website. So let's get right to it. So I've just installed Pop-Up Ally Pro. It has a default pop-up created. So what we'll want to do is decide where we want this pop-up to show up on the website. So we've got a time delayed pop-up, which means it'll show up maybe after three or four seconds or 20 seconds or 30 seconds, however long you want it to be. We've got an exit intent pop-up, which means that it will show up when it looks like somebody's about to leave your website. That's the one that we most recommend for a polite experience for your users. And then we've got the scroll pop-up, which means that the pop-up will show up when people get to a certain percentage of your page. So let's say after they finish reading your blog post, it will show up then. And then you've also got the click based pop-up. So that means if you want to have a link on your website that when people click that link, it opens up a pop-up window. That's what you'll want to use. And then we've also got the embedded option. That's actually not a pop-up. It's actually uh, an opt-in that you have somewhere else on your website, like in your sidebar at the top of the site, or at the bottom of the site. So for now, we're going to go with an exit intent pop-up since that works really, really well for most people. So you can also choose how long you want the pop-up to fade in for. So I'm going to go with five seconds because that's a nice little gentle fade in. For now, I'm going to show it on all the posts on this website. So that means that every single post and every single page will have this pop-up except for I will exclude the front page. So everything else will have the pop-up other than the front page. For now, we're going to ignore the mobile settings here because we don't need to worry about that right now. You can also decide how long you want this pop-up to show up for. So for example, if somebody comes to your website and then they come back a week later, and they didn't opt in, the pop-up will show up again if you have a number less than seven. So if you want it to not show up again for a month, you could put 30 days in here. If you don't want it to show up again for 14 days, that's a pretty good average. The smart subscriber recognition is something that you won't find anywhere else in any other plugins. And basically it means that when somebody's coming from a link from your own newsletter, the pop-up will not show up. So I have another video all about that feature. So I'm going to skip that for now. I will show you how to set up a thank you page though, because that is a great thing to have. So let's say that somebody opts in and I take them to a thank you page. We will select this thank you page from this list. So for now, I'm just going to choose this launch it in profit page as our thank you page. But what that means is if people opt in and they're taken to that thank you page, there will be a piece of code added to that page through this plugin that will make sure that the pop-up doesn't show up again on this computer. So now that we've made all of these changes, we're going to go ahead and hit save and now it's time to go under style settings where we'll decide what the pop-up will look like so the first thing you want to do is copy your signup code i have mine right here in infusionsoft you might have yours in aweber or mailchimp or any other number of places but once you've done that you'll see the name and the email field will auto populate here so you know you've done it right what you want to make sure of is that it's not a short JavaScript code. You want the full code. So for example, here, there is a JavaScript snippet, an HTML code, and I want the unstyled HTML code. And now what you'll want to do is choose a template. So the one I'm going to go with is called Limitless, and it really lets you do pretty much anything that you want with your WordPress pop-up. So the other thing I'm going to do to give myself a bit more space when it comes to designing the look and feel is I'm going to collapse this side menu. And as you'll see, the pop-up will show up here on the side. So while we're working on it, we can actually see what we're changing as we go ahead. So first we'll pick a background color. So for now, I want to go with a complete white background. And if I wanted to, I could actually upload a background image, which I highly recommend in a lot of different cases, because you can do some really cool stuff with nice background images. For now, we'll keep the size as it is. And what I want to do is upload a different image for this whole image right here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose file. So I've picked an image called launch triangle. And one of the things about pop-up ally is you won't see the image until you hit save. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and enter a different headline. I want a different color. So I'm going to go ahead and paste the hex code that I know ahead of time. And then also this font, you can make it anything that you want it to be. So these are some of the ones that come out of the box, but there's also the option to use other. And if there's a different font that you're using, um, for example, 
you know, Futura PT is what we use. Now, also, if you wanted to, you could take a look at these advanced options. So let's say if I wanted this to be bigger, I could go ahead and bump that up. If I wanted the line height to also match, I could do that too. You could center it if that was something you want to do or even write a line. You've got all of these options right here. So for now, I'll, I'll leave that as it is, but I might come back to it. There's also the option to add more text. And as you can see, it's on top of the other box. So for now, I need to move that. So at this point, I would wanna move it down. So maybe um, my horizontal offset would be 100 pixels or maybe 150 pixels. You'll kind of need to play around with this until you get the right offset. And then as you can see, it's a little bit too offset. So maybe 120 is a better one there, 110. And then again, same with the color. You can make it any color that you want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and make that um, a little, just a little bit more of a gray color. And again, you can change all the different font sizes too. And since we can't see it too much, I'm going to go ahead and hit save and take a look at what size the image I uploaded really comes down to. Okay, so as you can see, the image I added takes a lot more space than the original one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to move the image a little bit. I can actually offset it a little bit more so I can move it up and then I might move it out even more like an 80, 90. And then what you'll wanna do is also resize the width so that it still fits inside that section. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the last name field because as you remember, this opt-in actually doesn't have a last name input. So now I can actually just move this vertical offset for the name field. And there we go. That just made a whole lot more space for this opt-in. So for now, I'm thinking I might want to also just move this join me live box and just give it a little bit more space. So maybe 400, 450, and maybe move it down um, just a tiny bit more. The other thing that you can do is change the size of these opt-in fields. So I think they're a bit big, so I might make them more of like a 16. And then I can also change the padding at the top. So if I wanted to just make it take up a little bit less space, I could do that. And um, you can also change the background color so you could totally make them stand out a little bit more. I think gray is still a really good color, but just you know, play with it a little bit to see if you can make it just fully customized so it fits the style of your website. So I'm gonna just make both of them like that. Great, so now what I'm going to do is just shift down the get free instant access button and also just change where it's going to show up a little bit. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to change here is you can also change what the boxes actually say. So if you wanted to really get specific, you could do that too. So now I'm gonna change this opt-in box color. So it's starting to come together. I think this box might be still a little bit too big. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change that a little bit here so we can change the padding. It doesn't have to be a big difference, but it does make kind of that impact that we, we can tell change the font a little bit since it's a webinar. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit save. So now I've opened up a new window so I can test this out. So if it looks like I'm about to hit the back button, as you can see, the pop-up opens up. We've got our little image here to the side. We've got this section here at the top with our headline, a little bit more information about why this should enter. And then you can put your, your name and your email here and then just hit secure my spot and it'll take you to the thank you page that's built into your opt-in form from your email provider. And that's all you have to do to create a pretty simple but very customizable WordPress pop-up using Pop-Up Ally Pro. So if you enjoyed this video, if you wanna check out and grab your own copy of Pop-Up Ally Pro, just head over to popupally.com and you'll also find the links below the video. So thanks so much for watching and let me know if you have any other questions about the plugin, we'd love to answer them.